Pranab's own stand on Pakistan was far stronger. I asked him excitedly if he was going to become the PM. His response was blunt. No, she will not make me the PM. It's an emotional thing because actually when I started reading the diaries, I mean, I always used to cry. And also, you know, diaries are very private document. After his presidential years, you know, I would tell him that uh, let's start working on the diaries. But he said that no way, you know, you can't even read them uh, before I pass away. It was like a closure. Former President Pranav Mukherjee bequeathed a priceless legacy to his daughter. Shurmista Mukherjee has been the custodian of this treasure trove, 51 volumes of his diaries, dating back to 1973. Three years after his death, she spent the book, Pranav, My Father, A Daughter Remembers, based on these diaries. Writing the book gave a sense of closure to the daughter, she says emotionally. For the readers, it provides a peek into the ups and downs of Pranab's relationships with some of the most powerful personalities in independent India. Indira Gandhi, P.V. Narasimha Rao, Sonia Gandhi, Narendra Modi, and Rahul Gandhi, amongst many others. Listen in. Prana was addressing a rally in West Bengal with Rajiv Gandhi when the news of the attack on Indira reached them. There was absolute silence. Tears started rolling down my face and I wept inconsolably, managing to compose myself only after some time and with great effort. On reaching Kolaghat, a chopper took them to Kolkata and from there they flew back to Delhi on a special Indian Airlines plane. What transpired in the aircraft has been the subject of much conjecture since then. It was generally believed that Pranab, by virtue of, of his position as number two in Indira's cabinet, had staked claim to be the interim prime minister. Since then, his relationship with the Gandhi family was seen through this prism of this speculation. Supposedly, that was the reason why the Gandhis never trusted him again. According to the media, in 2004 and again in 2009, when Sonia chose Dr. Manmohan Singh over Pranab as the PM in UPA 1 and UPA 2 governments, the quote-unquote trust deficit was brought in by what purportedly happened in the aircraft back in 1984. News is now content. Just stream it. Download the world's first news OTT, News 9 Plus, ahead of the curve.